What's going on guys? In today's episode, I've picked up another car. So there you have it guys, I have just picked myself up a 1974 Volkswagen Super Beetle. This was probably one of the best bar, fine, bar, bleh, bar finds, well, what do I have on the mind, barn finds in this area. So this car and another car and another four, yeah, four other cars were sitting in this guy's driveway. Now, of course, my boss saw it and had to jump on it. Three Volkswagen Beetles, two Carmen Ghias, and one... No, there was actually two Mercedes-Benz sitting there, but only one was for sale. So my boss went up and talked to the guy. He immediately bought a beautiful 1959 Volkswagen Beetle. Check out your Emotive Auto Service on YouTube to follow that build. I call it a build, but really, we're probably just going to end up cleaning it up, fixing it up, and that's going to be it. Then, the moment I saw this Super Beetle, I fell in love with it. I know it's been converted, it's been kind of touched, it's been tarted up, but I like it. I think it really gives this thing some character. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it, I'm going to clean it right up, I'm going to... Um, change the back where the uh, the pickup box is. Uh, I'm gonna sand down all that black wood and I'm gonna varnish it. I am gonna put some really nice stain on it. I'm gonna make this thing look as nice as possible. But first what I gotta do, I gotta make sure that this thing's running. So it's time to get to that. All right, so here we are in the car. Well, I am. Got the booster on and uh, gonna try this, see if it starts. Listen to that baby purr. All right, well, we're getting somewhere. Awesome. Try again. Awesome. So 
there we have it. A little bit loud, but it's running. One problem I have is that I can't put it in gear with the clutch put down. Um, something's going on there. Probably not a massive deal, but uh, may have to pull out the engine. But yeah, she's purring like a kitten. This is a great sign. So another day working on the Beetle bug, um, what I did is I pulled out the fuel tank and I cleaned out all the lines, I emptied out the fuel tank of all the old fuel, uh, cleaned out the lines, I sprayed some brake clean in there and I blew it out with some compressed air. Um, another thing I did is I fixed the wiring to the, um, the fuel gauge so you can see that's working properly now. Um, the reason why I am doing this is because it's, it's, there's a, a little bit of a misfire. So, so I'm cleaning mine out completely just to make sure that there's no crap inside. So make sure it's in neutral. This is going to take a while. I replaced the fuel filter too. not wanting to idle either.
probably need to clean out the carburetor next. Uh, make sure she's all nice and clean. Maybe even replace or rebuild the carburetor. Uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. Uh, it's been a bit of a long day, so I'm going to go home and I'm going to save this for another day. I was going to clean it today, but um, as you can see, here's my car at the other end of the shop. There's my boss's car. And the hose is all the way over there and we don't exactly have a long hose. So, another day. Hold on to tonight.